Sie kommen aus Budapest in Ungarn mit einem Gesamtgewicht von 190 Kilogramm. Sie repräsentieren Amboss, Icarus, Dover, die Arrows of Hungary. I said it at the start of the night. I will say it again now. The Arrows of Hungary are the odds-on favorite to become the first ever Pro Wrestling Austria Tag Team Champions. By luck of the draw, they have had the longest time to rest after their first round match. A victory earlier on over Igor and Hugo. Tag Team Nummer 2. Sie kommen aus Debrecen in Ungarn mit einem Gesamtgewicht von 230 Kilogramm. Sie sind die amtierenden HCW Tag Team Champions. Vimos, Ökschi, die Gulyash Bros. The Gulyash Brothers, the reigning HCW Tag Team Champions and a team who know the Arrows of Hungary very well. Ökschi and Vilmos were trained by Icarus and Dover. So these are two teams, both from Hungary, who know each other inside out. Gulyash brothers with a victory in the first round over the Bleach Blonde Bastards to get themselves into this historic final. On Tag Team Nummer 3. Mit einem Gesamtgewicht von 167 Kilogramm. Aus Karstadt in Deutschland. Lucifer Lohan. Aus Wilhelmshaven in Deutschland, Randleman, zusammen sind sie Ruhe, Gewalt! Well, as good as they are, let's call it like it is. Ruhe, Gewalt do not deserve to be in this final because they stole a victory over Team Turbulence earlier on tonight. A lot of the fans here absolutely irate at what went down earlier on. But that is where we find ourselves. Lucifer Lohan, Randleman, the third part of this three-part puzzle. Remember, elimination rules here. We keep going until two of these teams have been eliminated. Whoever is the last team left will be the first ever Pro Wrestling Austria Tag Team Champions. Could be a pinfall, it could be a submission. Crucially, from Ambos's perspective, it could be a disqualification as well, which means that if Lawrence Roman or Robert Dreisker had any thoughts about intervening here on behalf of the Arrows of Hungary, well, maybe they should have second thoughts because they might end up getting their Ambos partners disqualified and ruled out of contention for these tag team titles. But here we go. At the moment, it is a level playing field between all three of these teams. Lohan and, and Randleman, though, trying to double-team Erkshi. Erkshi fighting back. The bull of the village. Apparently having some trouble with that left arm. Icarus and Dover of Vilmos out in the entranceway there. The Gulyash brothers have been separated early on and find themselves in Essentially a pair of two-on-one handicap matches, which isn't necessarily the, the best position to be in. But well, she's holding his own as a, a body slam on Randleman. And a hit one, I think, on Lucifer Lohan as well. Yes, he is. Erkshi single-handedly taking down Rohe gave out. Yeah. 
left arm though is definitely causing Erkshi some problems. See, he's got a lot of taping on there. All three of these teams, remember, competing in their second match of the evening. They've all got some wear and tear. Here comes Vilmos coming in after Icarus, but Icarus able to boot up into the face of Vilmos, the four of the village. The shoulder block on Icarus. Here comes Dover, the hardcore Hungarian. Gets spun around here by Vilmos. Shot to the face from Vilmos to Dover. Dover trying to send him to the ropes. Vilmos puts the brakes on. And a coverage suplex from Vilmos. Gulyash brothers, I'm sure, are going to be the crowd favourites here. No love here for Ambos. We've seen that throughout the night. Certainly no love for Rohe. Gave out either, especially after what happened earlier. Double stunner on the Arrows of Hungary from Vilmos. Look, she is in. They're going for the double hip toss. They caught Icarus in midair, slammed him down on his back. We saw this double team earlier. Erkshi launching Vilmos. Vilmos going to slam Dover onto Dover's own partner. The Gulyash brothers may well be taking those Pro Wrestling Austria Tag Team Championship belts back to the Hungarian countryside. There's going to be a party in the village tonight if that happens. Vilmos and Erkshi. They've got both members of Rohe Gave out in corners. Lohan taken down with the shoulder block. Vilmos will launch Erkshi right into Randleman. And a shoulder block finishing the job. It's the Gulyash brothers who are standing tall here. Remember elimination rules. So even when one of these teams gets eliminated, We'll still have a match left with whichever two teams are left. The Gulyash brothers apparently turning their attention to their former mentors, the Arrows of Hungary. They'll be looking for stereo stunners here, but wait, what is that? A steel chair being thrown into the ring. Randleman in the confusion there, taking advantage of the diversion from his partner Lucifer Lohan. Getting his team back into this. The neck breaker on Dover. Randleman's got Icarus. Drops him on his front. Double foot stomp. Went to the shoulders of Icarus. So many moving parts when there's six different competitors in the ring. I think any of these teams will be grateful when they've been able to dispatch one of their opponents so they can at least narrow their focus. At the moment, you have to kind of have eyes in the back of your head. I feel sorry for the referee as well, trying to maintain some kind of order in there. Of course, all three teams highly motivated. There will be, I'm sure, many Pro Wrestling Austria Tag Team Champions in the future, but only one team can go down in the history books as the first champions ever. That is the prize for whoever wins this match tonight. Erkshi taken down by Lucifer Lohan. Randleman's got his brother Vilmos trapped in the corner. Lohan charges in. Now Randleman as well. Jorge gave up. Looking mighty impressive at the moment. Randleman, hook of the leg. Kick out there from Erkshi. Remember the name, Rohe gave up, it means brute force. And that is what these two men, Randleman and Lucifer Lohan, are relying on to hopefully take them to the Tag Team Championships. A successful strategy at the moment of divide and conquer. Randleman and Lohan 
twisting the neck the necks there of both the Gouyash brothers. The arrows of Hungary, by the way, if you're wondering. Still down on the outside. Trying to recuperate. It might buy them some time as the Gouyash brothers both get some pretty nasty looking kicks there. Still all three teams in this. No one eliminated yet. Short back in the locker room somewhere on a monitor. Team Turbulence looking on with disgust at the fact that Rohe gave up not only in this final at their expense, but looking to be in the best position at the moment. Randleman and Lohan. Stereo kicks there to the Gouyash brothers. Randleman will go for the cover. It's, it's, it's uh, dueling covers. Both members. Rohe gave out trying to pin both members of the Gouyash brothers. Rohan and Randleman finding the Hungarians battling back here. They are the only team who are yet to win a tag team championship in any federation. They've only been together as a duo for a short period of Randleman and Lohan. They might be about to eliminate the Gouyesh brothers though. Randleman with the cover and a kick out from Vilmos. Wait, Lohan's got a chair. Well, they're going to get disqualified if they use that chair. What's their call here? Wait a second, referee. Trying to get rid of that chair. Lohan dispatched to the outside. And hang on. Randleman in trouble. The double team into the power bomb. And Rory gave out eliminated. And damit ausgeschieden. Das Team Rohe Gewalt. Weiterhin im Match die Gulyash Bros und die Arrows of Hungary. The Arrows straight back in. I was wondering why the Arrows were on the outside for so long. I think that was deliberate from the Arrows, biding their time, letting the other two teams fight it out. Now the Arrows are going to pick the bones of what is left of the Gouyak brothers who are exhausted after that battle with Lohan and Randleman. Icarus just whipping Erkshi with his own bandage there. Utterly merciless, especially when you consider that the Gouyak brothers used to be their students, the Arrows. So like they're looking not just to beat Ergy here, but to, to double down on that damage to the arm to try and cause him maybe a, a serious injury. And that, I suppose, is the Amboss way. Icarus, the look of total malice on his face as he takes Ergy down by that left arm. Over keeping Vilmos at bay. The arrows clearly looking to maintain that two-on-one advantage inside the ring. Erkshi, just as he did earlier. Two-on-one against Lohan and Randleman. He's doing the same here against the arrows, fighting back despite the odds. Tried to suplex Icarus, couldn't do it. I think his arm let him down there. There's the elbow, though, from Erkshi. That took Icarus off his feet. She charging into the corner, Dover just dived out of the way. And the more I think about this, the smarter it seems the arrows have been. Just staying well out of the way. Great strategy in this elimination environment. Let the other two teams fight it out and then when one team is left, then you pounce. That is what Icarus and Dover have done here. And now they are honing in on that weakness, on that left arm of Erkshi Gulyash. Icarus trying to stretch out that arm. And the tornado rules here. No time limit on 
Both members of the Arrows being in the ring. They can fight this two on one for as long as Vilmos isn't able to get in there and help his brother. Erkshi doesn't seem to care. He's going to keep fighting. Again, more damage to that left arm, courtesy of Icarus. Here does come Vilmos. Vilmos, though, straight back out to the outside. Dover dropping the top rope. Hang on a second. The crossfire on Erkshi. That's what got them to the final. Is it about to win in the tag team titles? Dover with the cover and a kick out. Oh my God, a kick out from Erkshi. I'm trying to think if I've ever seen anyone kick out of the crossfire. My God, you just, you witnessed the rarest of things there. Icarus in total disbelief, arguing with the referee. It's not the referee's fault. Man, Erksh how did Erkshi kick out of the crossfire? We oh, he's not going to survive a second one. Icarus bringing down the knee pad. The second is going to be even worse than the first. I don't know if Erkshi can even get up to his knees so that they can hit the crossfire. It's like, it has a feel of being about to watch an execution here. Oh, Vilmos! Vilmos shoved his brother out of harm's way! The arrows and knees colliding! God, that was crucial! Vital timing there from Vilmos! Vilmos, pile driver on Icarus! And Dover's hurt his knee! Dover can't even stand! Urchi leaping into Dover with the cannonball! From the jaws of defeat, the Gulyash brothers with the double stunner on the arrows of Hungary! Double team! Double pin from the Goliath Brothers and the Goliath Brothers are the inaugural tag team champions! Und damit die Sieger und die ersten Pro Wrestling Österreich Tag Team Champions! Vilmos Exi Goliath Bros! You talk about fine margins. If Vilmos had arrived a split second later, Erkshi would have been hit by a second crossfire. But Vilmos shoving his brother out of the way. And that was the critical moment that ended up seconds later winning the tag team championships for the Gulyash brothers. Erkshi and Vilmos proving that they are Eine indeed Sieger. stronger together. And the first PWE Tag Team Champions, the Gulyash Bros. What a moment for Erkshi and Vilmos. Already the HCW Tag Team Champions, but this victory, given that it was over the arrows of Hungary, given that it makes them the first ever Pro Wrestling Austria Tag Team Champions, this will be special for these two young men. High, high drama in the closing moments of this match as Vilmos and Erkshi got it done. They upset the odds. They proved wrong, everyone who said that this was the Arrows Championship to win. Archie and Vilmos are taking the Tag Team Championships back to the village. They are way down with gold. Uh, Archie and Vilmos. A big smile on the face of Erkshi. Vilmos responding in kind. A victory that moments before it happened seemed vanishingly unlikely.
but they got it done at the end of an unforgettable night here in Austria. A sold out crowd in the community hall in Lanzenkirchen witnessing Gebt history. Give them all for your new tag team champions, the Gulyash Bros. It was a pleasure to witness a moment like that. A career making moment for a young tag team. Vilmos and Erkshi will party long into the night. Pro Wrestling Austria will be back April 20th for Chapter 7 Battle Zone. And going into that show, these two young men will indeed be the tag team champions. Man, what a night. What a night. We have our first ever Pro Wrestling Austria Tag Team Champions. As the Gouyash brothers prove they are indeed stronger together.